John, firstly, a big welcome. Yeah, thanks very much. It's uh, It's been an hard time to get away from Rochdale and it's been a, an hard 18 months, but I'm happy to be away and signed here at Mansfield. You're a Sheffield lad, but you've never actually played here in all your years in football, have you? That's quite odd. No reserve game, no first team game. This is your first real uh, look at Field Mill. Yeah, I mean, I've been here once to watch a game. Uh, other than that, with the amount of games I've played, reserves, like you say, and even kids' games, I've never been here. So it's a nice little stadium, a nice setup, and I can't wait to get started. And the game that you watched, funnily enough, was David Holdsworth's first game in charge of Mansfield against Crawley over a year ago. Yeah, I went on loan out at Crawley uh, and came up here injured. Just obviously, I only lived down the road in Derby. And uh, yeah, they, they won 1 0, and Dave's obviously from then gone on and done really, really well, and I'm glad to be a part of that now. How has this move materialised? Uh, just a last minute thing. I mean, I had a move set up with Gateshead. Uh, they offered me a great deal and I accepted. Within 10 hours, they'd withdrawn the offer. Uh, and then the next day, I got a phone call from my agent saying, would you like to go and speak to Mansfield? And didn't take more than a few seconds to think about that answer. So I went and said yes and come here I am. So pretty much your sorrow was turned to joy instantaneously. Yeah, I think uh, they were a bit of a letdown. I felt a bit let down by Gateshead. Um, I'd obviously have had a, a tough time with Rochdale. That's easily seen by the amount of loans I've been on since I've been there. Uh, and to think that the, the move was materialising, you know, I was quite happy with that. The fact that it got pulled, I was quite good. Um, but yeah, to, I think really overall this is a better move for me. I've got a, a baby due in nine weeks, a wife down the road. I don't have to move. And it's a club that, with ambition, you know, that's going forward and hopefully looking at promotion in my first six months. You've got a lot of competition to try and get yourself ahead of, don't you? What do you know about the players who you're competing with up top? Obviously, I, I've, um, obviously I knew Daryl and then he's, now he's gone, so that's one out of the way. Obviously, I've seen Duff uh, quite a few times, you know, and obviously the kid's got a few goals and he, he seems like a good lad. And from what I've heard, you know, you know, the lads do work hard, they're a big bunch and we all seem quite similar, so there is competition. Um, but I've been around, you know, three and a half, four and a half years now in a conference where I've had people come in and take my place as well as me winning it back. And I'm up for, you know, working as hard as the manager wants me to, to hopefully get myself uh, a regular spot. And assuming that you're playing a 4-4-2, but however, having said that, the manager also likes to play in a 4-3-3 slash 4-5-1, whatever way you look at it. Assuming that you do play in a 4-4-2 up top, what sort of striker complements you best? Um, I don't really know what, what which one would complement me best. I mean, I've usually been the workhorse, as it were. You know, I, I, I enjoyed playing with people like Dal Clare before and, uh, and smaller forwards because, you know, I win my fair share in the air. I hold up and try and bring people into play. But likewise, I don't mind doing the other roles, you know, running off the big lads and, uh, and working in any sort of system. I basically try and work to my manager's uh, directions and do everything I can to, to make it work. For those of the uh, faithful that haven't seen you play for opposing clubs up and down the years, who would you compare yourself to so we can uh, get a bit of an image as to what you like? <laughs> well, I used, to love, I used to like saying that we're old-fashioned centre-forward. You know, I used to think, uh, I used to try and emulate people like Alan Shearer, David Hurst, uh, from obviously being in Sheffield. Uh, just you know, hard working, strong in the air, and you know, hold up play, and basically giving everything I've got. So if I was pushed, I'd say them. But obviously they're legends of the game, so I won't uh, say that I'm completely the same. And what about at your parent club Rochdale? I'm assuming that it was pretty hard to break into that side because they're doing so well. Well, yeah. This obviously last year I started quite well. I got in, I scored, and then I got injured. Unfortunately, I tore my hamstring, and I was out. And Keith made his mind up quite quick at the time that. You know, he basically wanted me out of the door and I went on loan to Crawley. I came back and tried again this pre-season uh, thinking that I would get a shot with them, especially when they sold out, uh, Adam LaFondra to Rotherham. But I think Keith had already made his mind up, you know, and he wanted to bring somebody else in. Uh, and by that time, he'd brought Chris O'Grady in and it started going well for him. And I can't really hold his decision against him. You know, they are top of the league and they are flying and I wish them all the best. What's been the secret there at Watchdale? Because in the last few seasons, I think they've come fifth sixth and now they're top I mean they're only a small smallish club for League 2 what's their secret? Uh, hard work to be honest with you uh, they, the management team work extremely hard the staff around them work hard they, you know they try and run the club as professional as possible uh, as high a standard as possible uh, but they also give the, the, the players and lads you know the freedom to play with as much creativity as they possibly can and then that hard work's there for if, the, if it does break down and the, like I say the last two years they've come close uh, they got close the first year and then last year they stumbled at the first uh, playoff spot. But, you know, this year they've basically carried on the same mentality but with a good start. And 
I think it'll see him through. What are your targets here, John? I want straight promotion straight away. You know, I, I looked at the table, uh, well, I look at it most times when I'm playing for anybody, you know, to see where they are. I've seen at Mansfield, I've been doing well. Uh, and now they're in the playoff spot. No reason to drop out of it. You know, I want my day at Wembley, if not finishing, you know, obviously Gate, Oxford and Stevenage are doing well at the minute. But if you go on any sort of run at this standard, you know, you can find yourself near the top. If you don't get the top spot, the playoffs are a gamble. You know, they're a lot for everybody. So I'd like my day at Wembley and a promotion straight away. Welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs>